So three through five are very close for me. Who? All right, you know what? I'm shooting it. Um, I'm with the fourth pick. I am taking a surging sophomore from Madison, Wisconsin. I am taking Johnny Davis. Yeah, I, I typed this one in for you at four like a couple <laughs> minutes ago. I kind of I kind of knew well, that this was you, happening. You you bailed me out when I said, "Do you want to pick first or second? Because I I may have taken third. So it feels. Yeah. It, here's my thing with with Johnny: six foot five. Uh, combo guard ish i'd say better probably off the ball it feels like he's had this coming out party all year and he's invited like the draft community to come to it the last three weeks i mean he's averaging 23 yeah. points per game i believe he's third in the nation scoring behind keegan murray and kofi coburn seven and a half rebounds 2.8 assists 1.4 steals he was mvp of the mom invitational so he has this huge 37 point game on the road versus Purdue, this huge prospect matchup with Jaden Ivey. And some may think, is this this one-hit wonder type of prospect game? Then he follows it up with Keegan Murray in Iowa, another top 10 guy on my board, with 26 points. So there's consistency there. It's not one or two games where we're trying to say, well, if he keeps doing it, like he has kept doing it. He has this killer off-the-dribble pull-up game from mid-range, shades, again, shades of like a Dwayne Wade-ish type style, can hit threes he, he can mix in a step back or two the three-point shots getting there it's still not great not a, a super vertical athlete and and that said he can still get to his spots where he needs to on the court he'll defend a powerful athlete I Power, think is the powerful word athlete but just not the the pop of the rim where it's like the the jay nivy type posters you're not really going to get that yeah all the time he can in space now when they run and underneath out of bounds where he kind of like curls around they throw at the rim he can catch and dunk like no problem yeah i just mean if he has a guy on his hip He's going to power through and get an and one because he's strong, but he's not carrying you and dunking it too. Right. But you look at you look at some of the top prospects this year and yesterday year, and we point their supporting cast not being that strong. And, and and I argue that his is the strongest. So I asked an NBA scout, I said, is his scoring and his play a byproduct of needing to do all that and the team couldn't succeed without it? And he said, you're kind of looking at it wrong. Well, like, what if you flip that? What if they're really good because of all the stuff he's doing and not sort of like in spite of it? Like he's pulling Wisconsin up to the level of basketball that he's playing. And it's not necessarily yeah. a, a bunch of future NBA guys there. And they're 13 and two. Like they're they're good. Right. They lost one game to Ohio State. They got whacked. But they've answered the bell. He, he checks a lot of boxes for me. He was also a former All-State quarterback. His dad had a cup of coffee in the NBA, played 10-plus years overseas. Everyone says he's a great worker. He, he grew up playing the Under Armour system. I've seen the development. Uh, came out of nowhere a little bit. I thought this was a year or two away. I never thought I'd be on a draft podcast, number one. But number two, saying I'm taking Johnny Davis fourth overall. Uh, we're here. There's very, very close between him and the next guy I'm sure you'll take. But I, I really like where he's going as a player. Yeah, it's interesting. So... I've talked to a few Big Ten coaches just about Johnny Davis, and they were like, yeah, we all loved him. We all thought he was an NBA player at some point. We never saw top five, top ten. We've never – I've not talked to a coach that was like, yeah, like we saw him as a top ten pick at some point, let alone as a sophomore. I, I mean, like, we didn't we, – we talked about it seems like a hundred wings, a hundred bigs, a hundred point guards preseason. Yeah. We didn't even mention him, and, and I've known the kid – like I've him. known his game – for years and I, I just didn't think what do you average like eight or nine points per game or, or something along there it wasn't yeah. anything monumental you thought this is a junior year conversation maybe it's like an older senior who's who's steady but he he's just like he's he's elevated everything he's done everything he's done yeah. has just been th this boost last year so uh, i'll bring up the questions here that i've gotten for about him okay. uh how worried are you about the long distance shooting not very i mean just just a little bit when when you see when he has clean catch and shoot looks it, it's not bad like I, it's yeah. it's not not bad shots and he mixed in a a step back or two and when he gets rocking when he when he starts in the mid-range and kills you with a few 15 footers and then he took one or two in that iowa game i'm like forget it this like this is ridiculous i think i texted you during the purdue game i said he's doing a thing right now and that was in the first yeah. half because you see how it leads to his defense and back to his offense and back to his defense. And, and he can carry over that. So I, I'm not worried about him shooting from three. How worried are you about his lack of size? He's six foot four. Um, Ish. 
for for a wing. Yeah, let's say between six four and six five, something like that. I would say um, for a wing who I don't know, like how good do you feel about him? defending point guards for instance how good do you feel about him moving up the lineup to defend fours like i i worry that he might not even be be able to like consistently handle bigger like combo forwards like a harrison barnes or something like that you know what i mean sure it's i don't know if he'll necessarily guard a ton of threes probably more ones and twos but he, he's still mm-hmm. six four six five we're not talking about a guy who's six foot two and lighting it up it's yeah. not like he he's small just he, he's not six foot seven six foot eight either and has like this crazy wingspan but i i don't when, when he does everything else so well and you've seen enough of the defense where i don't want to say he cheats for his steals and points but he's smart and he's savvy in the way he takes his chances to to make that defensive impact too right uh, look I, I don't think teams will like hunt mismatches against no, Johnny Davis. exactly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. No, I'm with that. I, I don't know that he's going to be – look, he's like a very, very high-level defender at Wisconsin. Like, very, very, very good. He's put up a few, like, elite-level prospect games on defense for them so far. Like, you go back and you watch that Houston game, it is one of the better perimeter defensive games I've seen from a prospect this year. Uh I think he's probably like somewhere in the top, you know, four or five perimeter defensive prospects in this NBA draft, to be honest. I just worry a little bit about the versatility. Yep. Um, he, he's good on ball and contests and fights and his strength allows him to get through screens. I, I'm I Johnny Davis at five. Like I'm I'm there. Yep. Uh, I, I don't mind this pick at all. Uh, OK, you're Let's up. Go. Number 